Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we have another very very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to evaluate expression x over 30 plus cube root of x over 50. Let's say this expression is E. Now we know that 5 can be written as cube root of 125. Let's write here and here we will get x equal to cube root of 125 this is 5 plus cube root of 80 minus cube root of 800 or cube root of 125 plus cube root of 80 plus cube root of 100. Now we will divide our numerator and denominator by cube root 5. So let's write here divided by cube root 5. Here also divided by cube root 5. Now cube root of 125 over cube root of 5 will be cube root of 125 over 5. So I can write directly cube root of 25 plus cube root of 80 over cube root 5 is cube root 16 minus cube root 800 over 5 will be cube root 160 over cube root 25 plus cube root 16 plus cube root 100 over 5 will be cube root 20. Now we can factor 20 as 5 times 4. We can factor 160 as 8 times 5 times 4. Let's write x will be equal to cube root of 25 plus cube root of 16 minus cube root of 8 times cube root of 5 times cube root of 4 in denominator we will write cube root of 25 plus cube root of 16 plus cube root of 5 times cube root of 4. Now we know that 25 is 5 is square and 16 we can write 4 is square and cube root of 8 is 2. So we will write x will be equal to cube root 5 whole square. This will be cube root 25 plus cube root 16 will be cube root 4 whole square minus cube root 8 is 2 times cube root 5 times cube root 4 or cube root 5 whole square this is cube root 25 plus cube root 4 whole square this is cube root 16 plus cube root 5 times cube root 4. Now we will consider cube root 5 equal to a and cube root 4 equal to b. So from here I can write a cube will be equal to 5 and from this b value we can write b cube equal to 4. So from these two equations we will get a cube minus b cube equal to 5 minus 4 equal to 1. Let's put the value of our substitution. We will get a square plus b square minus 2ab in the numerator. 
and in the denominator a square plus b square plus ab. So I will write x equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. In the denominator a square plus b square plus ab. So in numerator it is one identity. So I can write this is a minus b whole square and in denominator we will write this is a square plus b square plus ab. Now we will multiply our numerator and denominator by a minus b. Now you can see this is again one algebraic formula. This is a cube minus b cube and numerator will become a minus b whole cube. Denominator is a cube minus b cube. Now we have calculated a cube minus b cube will be equal to 5 minus 4 equal to 1. So I can write x will be equal to a minus b whole cube. Let's put the value of a and b. x equal to a minus b whole cube. a was cube root 5, b was cube root 4. So I can write x will be equal to cube root 5 minus cube root 4 whole cube. Now we will consider cube root both the sides. So I will write cube root here and I will write notation for cube root here also. So cube root and cube will be cancelled out from our right hand side. In LHS I will write cube root x. In RHS we will get cube root 5 minus cube root 4. Now we will add cube root 4 to both sides. So we can write cube root x plus cube root 4 equal to cube root 5. Now we will consider cubing both sides. So I will write power 3 here and power 3 here. So cube root and cube we can cancel from our RHS. In LHS we will apply a plus b whole cube formula. So I can write cube root x whole cube. This is a cube. Cube root 4 whole cube. This is b cube. Then 3 times cube root x times cube root 4 times in the bracket cube root x plus cube root 4 and in RHS we will get 5 only. Now this is cube root 5. So I can write our equation cube root and cube we can cancel from LHS. x plus 4 plus 3 times cube root x times cube root 4 times cube root 5 equal to 5. Let me write here x plus 4 plus 3 times cube root x times cube root 5 times cube root 4 equal to 5. Now I will subtract 4 from both the sides. We will get x plus 3 times cube root x and if I will club these two I can write cube root 20. RHS will be 5 minus 4. So I can write x plus 3 times cube root x times cube root 20 equal to 1. Now we will divide our equation by 3 both sides. So divided by 3 
divided by 3 divided by 3. This 3 and 3 will be cancelled out. We will write equation x over 3 plus cube root x times cube root 20 equal to 1 over 3. Let me write this equation here x by 3 plus cube root x times cube root 20 equal to 1 over 3. Now we will multiply in the numerator and denominator for this term. Here we will multiply with cube root 50 as it is available here. So I will write cube root 50. Now we will write our equation x over 3 plus cube root x times cube root of 20 times 50. Can we write cube root of 1000? In the denominator it is cube root 50 equal to 1 over 3. Now 1000 is 10 cube. So this is 10. So I can write x over 3 plus 10 times cube root x over cube root 50 equal to 1 over 3. Now divide our equation by 10. We will get x over 30 plus cube root x over cube root 50 equal to 1 over 30. So by dividing by 10, so I will write here 1 over 10 and this side also I will write 10 in the denominator. So this is our required expression E. Our answer will become 1 over 30. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe channel. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Goodbye.